Hello, my name is Dante Renee, and welcome to the Ten Room Bizarro. Tonight's viewing is a film by the name of Countess Perverse, put out by Mondo Macabre. Here's the cover right here. Countess Perverse, put out by Mondo Macabre. They always have their token red um, DVD uh, holder here, box. A film by Jess Franco from 1973, supposedly filmed in France, and tagline is hunting humans was her favorite game this is starring alice arno um sorry sorry Al alice arno yes um and also lena ramay as well as um a a a classic another classic from just franco's films howard vernon um and countess perverse it clocks in at about uh, 80 minutes 78 minutes actually so it's 78 minutes it's a nice short film um it says in the back here, there were no limits on her search for the ultimate in sensual pleasure. Countess Perverse. I gotta tell you off the bat, as we, as we go into some different modes here, or, or different aspects of the film, um, the music was unbelievable. And it looks like it was done by one or two people from the opening credits. And the music is, wow. I mean, you... It has like a Carnival of Souls feels sometimes, like organ, and then at other times it has like this kind of tribal, tropical, uh, hand percussion type of sound, and then at other times it's literally like the most hard rock music I've ever heard in a Jess Franco film before. Um, like really groovy, almost metal, but hard rock, you know. Um, so the music is just spectacular, very moody, very atmospheric, and uh, very fast-paced and 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 um, groovy and action-oriented and dramatic and loud and abrasive and and then at the same time just very dreamy at other times and very dark, uh, almost gothic at times. So we talk about the music there, very diverse music for Jess Franco. Now we get into the cinematography of this film. Holy crap. The cinematography for this film is unbelievable. I mean the first three or four minutes of the film before like the the, the, uh, the title sequence comes on. By the way, some people say that Jess Franco's films end so abruptly and they do. But you gotta love his opening uh, title sequences. He has the freaking best opening title sequences. So he likes to bring it all to the to the front, it seems, and um, and let it end very, very in in this cut type of dramatic, like not dramatic, but like just like boom done, no frills, bam done. It's done right there. So you kind of it kind of draws you in at the beginning and kind of like this it's like a display and it's always interesting to see where Jess Franco puts his name or pseudonym um in the in the credit sequence. Sometimes it's over like, you know, a part of the of the female anatomy or sometimes it's over something, you know, it's almost like a you can catch his vibe or his feel for that particular film by where he puts his name in the opening credits, if you catch my drift. Um the cinematography is insane the first three or four minutes of this film i don't know uh, cinematography jargon but he's doing this thing with the camera where it's like at the front of the scene you see somebody in in, in the in the front of the you know like in the right near your viewing screen and then it kind of looks like it's in a tunnel or something for the for the background and for the sides and there are unbelievable he does that like crazy throughout um countess perverse he's doing a lot of that kind of that kind of beautiful tunnel cinematography where it almost makes the 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 the, the front look like bigger than the back i think that's the best way to describe it i don't know what that what that is but it looks very professional very um very artistic very dramatic. The beginning of this film is so dramatic before the title sequence. I love the beginning of this film. It's so freaking badass. And then um, the cinematography just, it's, I mean, the way he does this a lot, but people always make a big deal about Texas Chainsaw Massacre and when it goes underneath the bench through her leg or, 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 or 
you know, kind of behind her legs at her butt and then the, the house. It makes the house look so big. Jess Franco needs to get some freaking credit too, folks. He does some amazing things with that, um, especially with, um, uh, you know, the, the, the architecture. Oh, sorry about that. Give me one second here, folks. Okay. Whew. <sighs> Bigfoot, the architecture, um, the way he films the architecture, he makes it look so big, so grand, and it is so big and so grand, and and there are these shots of these rocks in in um, in the middle of this body of water. It looks like to be in the middle of nowhere. Just the way he shoots those rocks makes me feel very lost, alone, and claustrophobic. But the way that he's shooting, and then there's other parts of the film, just like Jess Franco, that aren't as like professional looking, the more rough things are out of focus, uh, predominantly through the sex scenes. Um, you, you kind of have these very, very professional shots, and then you have these very, very kind of um, hap -ha like, or just out of focus, um, just mysteriously shaky or whatever. This is also the first Jess Franco film that I noticed that there was somebody on the side and then they moved. I forget what mark it was, but if you look, if there's one scene outside in front of the house where there's like something on the right hand side of the screen and then all of a sudden it moves, you could tell that it was uh, maybe one of the cast members, uh, one of the crew members or something. And then there's also a shadow on the in the front of the wall of, uh, of one of the houses as well. So I've never seen that in a Jess Franco film before. I mean, I've seen like those kinds of like, like interesting, um, uh, film errors that he leaves in, um, I think, so awesomely. But I've never seen ones like this before. And the architecture in this film, where does he find these locations? I mean, this guy was low budget, right? Where was he getting locations that were better than Hollywood films? These aren't sets. He didn't have the money to do sets. These are real homes. These are real islands. These are real tropical locations. And supposedly this was France, right? Well, this house is ridiculous. And when you see the interiors of the house, this one staircase, it's ridiculous. The outside of the house is ridiculous. Um, the porches of, of various homes are ridiculous. The architecture is sick. The island is sick. And when there's this chase scene near the end of the film, it just kind of reminds me almost like of a beach. But like uh, when I was a kid going to, to, to kind of Wildwood Beach and you get to those parts of the beach that were kind of straggly and kind of kind of crazy. But then it kind of then you also get the tropics in that chase scene, which kind of reminds me of like um, uh, shockwaves or, you know, it, it's really, really spectacular. The environments in this film, the architecture in this film is spectacular spectacular and Howard Vernon this is the old guy the old bad guy in the film does he ever play a good guy the old bad guy in the film is shot so spectacularly he's represented by Jess Franco so well in this film that I am just blown away the way that Jess Franco films him and shows him and he does that tunnel type vision making the the, the foreground look bigger than the background so freaking cool. Howard Vernon, oh my gosh, he's amazing in this film. You're also going to be seeing uh, more of Howard Vernon than you've ever seen before. I've never seen his testicles before, and I've never seen his taint before. Uh, but you will see the old man Howard Vernon's testicle taint and humping. And, and a little bit of his penis as well. And, um, you know, the story is... It has some. It has a couple twists, a couple turns in the film, and um, even at the end, and there's, um, you know, basically it involves. Um, I don't want to give. I don't give spoilers, but it involves, you know, uh, cannibalism, and it involves um, murder, and uh, wow, money, and 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 romance, and sadism, and uh, orgies, and. Um, and 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 yeah, open relationships, which are very common in Jess Franco films, but also like kind of watching and voyeurism. And Jess Franco is very voyeuristic with his camera in this film, not as in a, as as abruptly in some of his other films where he just goes like right into the vagina or right into the butt, the open butt or something. Um, but he still is doing that, but in a much more subtle way of this film. Very interesting how he's subtly doing it and how he's getting shots of a vagina kind of going through the trees or going through the straggly parts of the beach or um and uh, the film does get fairly explicit in a, in a few moments with some lesbian scenes and also like i said with howard vernon's scene as well um and the sex scenes are very interesting because they're erotic but there's also a very bizarre kissing scene in this film that 
I've never seen such fake kissing in my entire life, and 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 he and Franco really focuses on it. Lena Romay is young in this film; she's beautiful. Um, she really looks great in this film. Um, in 1973, she was young in this film. Um, these these were you know I guess early crops right here, uh, her early crop of films, um, with uh, with with uh, Jess Franco. You know, overall, folks, um, there's some twists, there's some turns, there's some there's some hunting. Of of people, there's meat, uh, there's uh, decapitation, um, there's uh, people getting uh, wounded and stabbed, and um, and there's uh, you know weird twists, backstabbing. There's an amazing scene with Howard Vernon and a mirrored light. Uh, there's so much cool stuff. There, I love Jess Franco's uh, boat scenes in his films. He always has amazing boat like scenes through water i don't know how the hell he gets these shots hollywood gets all the credit for movies that aren't even that good and this man here with low budget is producing cinematography like shots that are just crazy but at the same time he also does these these kind of like these kind of out of focus shots too that are shaky and everything that people would make fun of him for he mixes it all up it's like he's doing whatever the heck he feels like Count is perverse, is chock filled with atmosphere. You feel like you're in another world, just like in a lot of Franco films. But the film is, um, it's very, uh, it's very gothic, but on an island. Like, how do you do that? And it's very doomy, very doomy, and um, it's it's dark, um, it's sleazy. Um, uh, yet it, it 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 kind of focuses on on the naked man and, and woman body mostly woman body um also in a in a just in a in his normal Jess Franco way which is like it's part of the movie a vagina is part of the movie a penis is part of the movie a butthole is part of the movie that's Jess Franco folks count is perverse this is an awesome film um, if you like Jess Franco, you definitely got to get this. Um, this was just a, a, a really, really awesome film. A very bizarre film, a very weird film, a very doom-laden, dark film. And filled with atmosphere and filled with amazing cinematography and music. And, um, and just interesting characters. And a very, uh, a very interesting story and a play off of a famous American story. Uh, because this one has some different twists and turns. And kind of a, 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 an amusing ending, so to speak. Anyway, Counts as Perverse. You can get this off Mondo Macabre. It's not out of print yet. And it's December 2015. Thank you for watching a uh, review. This is a longer one from the Ten Room Bizarro. That's Jess Franco's Count as Perverse. Look forward to many more Jess Franco films in the rare ones. And many more rare films in general. Thank you so much for watching. And please feel free to also check out my own films on my YouTube site, youtube.com slash poopy diarrhea. You'll find the link down below. Thanks again for watching.